looks so lovely. Hey, it's A back on your screen with another one. Today we're gonna to do an updated version of a video I did a couple years ago. A lot of you seem to be finding it in the archives. I made it back back in the day, but hey, if you like it, I love it. So today I'm gonna to pay homage to that. And what we're gonna do is make some more energizing smoothies. These are the smoothies that I have every day of the week, depending on whether I wanna detoxify, help with my digestion, fill myself up. All of these are good to not just nurse you, but they're a good quick way to boost you up whether you're having them in the morning or midday. So what we're gonna do is start off with my favorite one first. This one has a little avocado in there, some dates, a frozen banana, some almond butter. This is your protein source. Vanilla extract, which is optional. You can always sub this out for vanilla protein powder after workout. And then almond milk, which I haven't bought in such a long time because I'm such an oat milk girl, but this is a classic. So the reason why we're mixing all this stuff together is avocados are high in omegas. They're also really good because they have the good fats. If you know me, I studied nutrition back in the day. <sighs> good fat versus bad fat, a little controversial, but overall avocados are good for you. So what we're gonna do is just cut this. Never trust a blind chick to cut anything, but here it goes. You know, we're just gonna twist it off. And I'm gonna use the smaller part because avocados are very, very creamy. So we're gonna put that aside. I soaked my dates just so that they will blend better. But if you want, all you gotta do is pit fresh dates. This ice, just to let you know, it's not even that hot in here, but it's melting real quick. So I'm gonna bring you close so you can see what I'm doing, but we'll talk through this. Some hot. Poor, poor. I don't know if this angle makes a difference, but let's see. Let's add in some of this and coconut water. Burning. What the? Spinach is the main ingredient. And the great thing about spinach, or if you want to, you can sub kale or do half half, is that it's packed with vitamin A as well as lutein and zeaxanthin. All of these things are gonna be good for your cellular repair. Anything that revitalizes or renews your cells is gonna, of course, boost your energy. So we're gonna put in a cup of that. We've grown, so we're gonna do a little bit of almond milk, and then Greek yogurt. If you're vegan, you can sub this for an avocado. All this is gonna do, of course, is gonna add some calcium, but more for the flavor and texture, creaminess, which if you ask me, anytime I use yogurt in the recipe, avocado still trumps it for the texture. So we're gonna scoop this entire cup in. The great thing about using a cup of yogurt besides being lazy AF is that it's the perfect helping. You ain't gotta measure that. Fridge gotta turn on. Off, off, fridge, off. <laughs> Cause if that thing is on, if you watch vlogs, you know that thing rumbles louder than my voice. So we can't waste over here because as a Caribbean person, we not waste. So about half a cup. You could put more if you want it to be more runny. I like my smoothies like really hard to slurp up. It's my highest grade of matcha that I have on deck. It's a very vivid green, as you can see. Dee, 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 dee. Can you see, can you see, can you see or nah? Yeah, you can, look at that. It's gonna add a punch. Let me not do this vlog style. Let's switch over and show you this view for the rest of the video. One banana. Sunny warrior, this is how I stay looking young forever. A little bit of this is what gives me my vampire status. Make it mix. 
intense. I smell burning plastic. Should I be concerned? for me so what we're going to do is add some spinach that's what's up Kale pineapple mango peach smoothie with, I haven't added these in a long, long time. Let's throw some banana.
so thick. 